Is Dimensions in Time really that bad? Well, yes. Actually, it's kind of hard to defend. But that's not to say there aren't any positives, so I'm going to quickly run through them before I focus on the negatives. So let's start off with the obvious. Number one, it brought back every available doctor. Even Tom Baker. Sort of. Number two, besides featuring five live action doctors, we also saw the return of a lot of the Doctor's former companions. Number three. It was nice to see the Rani again. Number four. We get to see the Brigadier interact with the Sixth Doctor. And number five. It raised money for children in need. And whilst you might not like the story, you can't say it wasn't for a good cause. But let's briefly talk about what went wrong. Number one. Making it 3D. To me, 3D is a gimmick which is only used when something isn't trying to be good. Number two. Even though there were multiple doctors, they never interacted with each other. Number three. Making it a crossover with EastEnders. I'm still trying to figure out why someone thought this was a good idea. Number four. Absent enemies such as the Master and the Daleks. And number five, it doesn't look like we're going to get a DVD release. This is because the cast and crew signed contracts saying they'd work for free provided this story was never released for profit. But what if it was released and all the profits were to go to children in need?